Hello, hello, it's David Simon from Crimson Dark with another video tutorial for working in Photoshop. This time we're looking at star fields and nebulae, so basically nice pretty backdrops for your space scenes. You might want to put a spaceship in front of this or a planet or something. So to begin with we're just going to put together a very simple star field. Um, there are a lot of tutorials to do this. Mine doesn't really do anything different, so I'll move through it fairly quickly. It's basically about rendering some noise, mon monochromatic, monochromatic, and we have here just some basic random points of light, too many of course. So we adjust the brightness and contrast, make it much darker, but also increase the contrast a little so that these stars stand out more. Now, that's alright. Let's get some variation in the size of these stars, though. To do that, we duplicate this layer with the basic stars on them, select an area of that, and then transform, making it much larger. Rotate it a bit so it doesn't look anything like the layer below it. And there you go. Now we set that layer to screen. Now we have different sized stars. And we can adjust the brightness contrast of the screen layer so the stars are a bit brighter or a bit darker and there are fewer of them and I'll merge that down <clears throat> now the next thing we can do is create some nice little patterns in the star fields that, so that there are larger groups of stars in one area than in another to do that we use the clone tool the clone stamp Make a fairly large brush. Select somewhere, then we set the brush mode from normal to screen. That means it will only paint the light parts onto this uh, onto this layer, won't be painting the dark stuff. That way we can add more stars. So we select a source somewhere around here. Now if we start painting here you'll see it's adding more stars to the area. And so you can just do that around various areas, make some areas a bit brighter than others, just adds a little bit of very subtle variety to the star field. Now when that's done, we duplicate the layer of the stars and we're going to blur this layer. We're going to use a Gaussian blur. We want it to be quite large. Now when you look at it you are barely going to see anything at all because it was very dark to begin with. We blur it and it's almost going to look completely black but don't worry there is still some information there. Now if we adjust brightness contrast that should become a bit more obvious. You can see there are these patches here. But we'll do this via levels because it's a bit more subtle. So you have those areas of brightness. Now I just blur that a little more to get rid of those sharp edges. And I set that layer to linear dodge. And now we've got the clustered areas of stars where there are more stars are actually glowing slightly. So it gives it all uh, a nice uh, luminescent feel. If you want to, you can then colorize that layer uh, with the blur on it. Give it perhaps a slightly bluish tinge. Very subtle. Now there's the basic star field. Next thing we want to do is create a pretty neb nebula. So, we work with my favourite resource, Photos of Clouds. Lots and lots of photos of 
So if we're making a fairly subtle nebula, which is what I'm aiming for at the moment, then we start with something with some just some nice wispy clouds and sort of puffs of smoke, not sort of the really sharp, strong, harsh edge clouds that I might use for an explosion or something like that. So I move this in, I transform it, <clears throat> so it fits nicely over the star field. There's the basic. Now I'm going to try a few different things to do with this layer. Uh, this is where the experimentation comes in. Um, I'm going to try desaturating it, seeing how that looks. Set the mode to screen. That way only the light stuff is showing. And I adjust the layers a bit. So we've got a, quite a nice effect there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is colorize that image colorize just that layer. Now this is where we get to have fun and choose what color we want our nebula to be. I'm going to go with whatever looks pretty. That has potential. So I can say OK. I might adjust that later on, depends entirely upon how I feel about the finished product. Now I want to put a bit more on top of that. So I choose some more wispy clouds, something interesting. Okay, let's use this one. So copy that across again, we transform it. We desaturate, set this layer to overlay so that it affects the layer below it. And now let's colorize this. So there's the first layer of the nebula, and there's the second layer of the nebula. You can see how the two are building up on top of each other, adding detail. Now we'll add one more layer of wispy clouds, I think. Something very subtle. We'll go with this. We desaturate. Let's adjust the brightness and contrast, make this a lot darker. Now we can see what happens if we set it to overlay, or we can set it to screen. I'm going to go with overlay, I like how that looks. So there's that. Now the next thing we want to do is I like having clouds of the nebula silhouetted, silhouetted in the foreground as if there's an internal light source and there are clouds closer to us. It gives us a sense of depth for the nebula. So I'll choose something fairly simple with a few white clouds against a blue sky. Let's go with this. Now we do things a little differently here. We invert this layer and there's the silhouette. Drag that over. Transform. Set this layer to multiply so only the dark stuff comes through. Now that's not looking all that good. So we'll desaturate it. We'll adjust the levels. Make it a bit more subtle. And We'll also just go through and erase large portions of it so that it doesn't dominate the image. There you go. A very simple, straightforward way to make a pretty nebula. Now, 
it really helps to actually have some pretty cloud photos to start with. So if you've got a digital camera, I re recommend you just run out. Every time you see some interesting clouds in the sky, take photos. If you enjoy making nebula, then they are going to pay off in the long run. Uh, I really recommend building up a huge selection of stock cloud photography. Well, I hope some of this has been helpful to you. Uh, have fun making nebulae.